Bob and Brad Howdy, folks. We're the Bob and Brad crew. I'm Alex. I'm Mike. And we're offering product reviews related to your health, fitness, and overall well-being. In our unbiased opinion, of course. Did you did you pull a hammy? No, but I have the world championship belt here. I, that's a hammy belt. Like that? That's a hammy belt. Relieve groin, hamstring, and quad pain. Now! Oh! I scared him. With the Odofit? Yep. Odofit. Hip brace. So... What's the price on this hip brace? Price on this is only twenty five ninety five, which is pretty good for a brace. Sure. It is a softer material. It's not like a hard brace with metal components in it. No. Nope. But it's pretty durable, and it has some um, Velcro on it to attach it. You sure. want to show how to kind of put it on real quick? I would love to. I'm glad you asked, Mike. All right. Please do, Mr. Pulled Hammy. All right. Don't worry about the lower part, you know, where that's positioned right away. Just worry about getting it on your waist here nice and tight. And then you can kind of move the lower part around. They say, you know, they comes in the directions there how to put it on. So yeah, there's a little pamphlet that comes with it. Uh, it tells you exactly how to put it on. This is a right version of the brace. They also sell a left. They can fit either way, but you have to kind of put it on differently for the other side. So that's just an FYI. It fits a little awkward. If you were to put that on the left, it does work, but it's a little different. So, so there's one Velcro strap around your waist, and then three that go right around your quad, if, if you will. And this brace is really nice because with the waist strap, it provides that from sliding down. Because Alex and I have worked with other patients with other type of like knee immobilizers or hip braces, and they're always sliding down. Yep. And it's super annoying to put them back up. So anytime there's one with a waist strap, it makes it way yep. easier for us and the patient. And I like the variability of this. You can tighten it as much as you want. You can loosen it. If you're not doing something that's bothering you, just... Loosen it up, you can stay around your waist. Yeah. So we'll get into the selling point a little bit. This is a unisex groin wrap. Uh, basically, it's not like a full-on brace. It's recommended for sciatic and nerve pain. I don't know if I'd really believe it's for sciatic and nerve pain. That's one of the major things I'd say I don't really believe with it. Yeah. Uh, it, it definitely helps with hip pain and injuries. Also, hip bursitis, tendinitis, muscle strains, or pains. Um, it definitely thinks it helps more with the quads, hamstrings, and mm -hmm. Uh, inner groin pain, I wouldn't say sciatica. That's where you feel all the compression is. And I wouldn't right say it's a back brace support, even if it goes around there, I would not say it really helps your back yeah. at all. You can, you can still flex pretty hard in it. Most back braces you can't. Oh yeah. Uh, it has three strap design, as Alex said earlier, with the waist strap band as well. It's very easy to use. It fits up to a waist size of 42 inches and thigh diameter of 27 inches. And it is recommended you're at least five foot three inches to wear. So if you're too short, I'm sorry, you can't wear it. Uh, it because be this would be too far down your leg, I, yeah. I suppose. Okay. It can be worn on either leg uh, without hindering any movements in any way. And it comes with a little carrying bag and also the little instruction manual mm -hmm. I showed earlier. When you put it on, the, f the thing I notice is it. Kind of keeps your hip in a flex position, you know, so mm -hmm. your hip's not in that closed pack position. It, it feels like it takes pressure off your muscles. Yep. Primarily, I notice the hamstring and the quads a lot. Yep. And I could see any inner thigh type yep. pain, like it would take pressure off of that. Yep. Um, are we done with the selling point? Yes. All right. Rating 4.4 out of 5, and there are 625 reviews. Yep, and this is off Amazon. Yep. Um, some of the negatives some people talked about is the Velcro got weak over time, like a month. It didn't hold as well. It's a Velcro problem, yeah. Yeah, it depends how long you wear it for and how clean or dirty it is. Um, some people said it didn't help their hip pain. If you have really bad hip arthritis, I don't know if it'd help a whole lot. It's it not going to help everybody. No, it's not, sure. it's not a cure-all thing if you buy this brace. It's definitely, I think, works for some circumstances, but not all. Mm -hmm. um, some people said it didn't fit right. It is hard to put on the opposite leg, I would say. So yeah. if you have a problem on one side, not the other, I would just buy that specific size. It sure. does mark it on the site left and right, but they are adjustable to different ways if you need to use it later on. Did you see the people that said it was smelly? It came and it was smelly. Did you read those reviews? <laughs> those were the one-star reviews. There was five people that said it was I smelly. Did I don't think it smelled. Does it smell? <laughs> No, it smells normal. Uh, some Glad people I didn't have you smell it. Right thought now. it <laughs> was 
too bulky and made them sweaty. It is, they do say it's supposed to make you warm and warm up the muscle area, so we'll get into that in yep, a minute. Yep, bringing blood flow, yeah. And some people said it didn't relieve their back pain, but it helped their leg pain. Obviously, I agree with that. It's not gonna, it's not a back brace. It's not meant for that. It's not yeah. really meant for sciatica, because normally sciatica is coming from your back, typically, yep. so. Um, positives, it is easy to clean. You just rinse it in cold water, they say, and you can air dry it. It's I, light. It's lightweight, 9.9 yep. 9 ounces. Uh, the rest of these are actual quotes from consumers who had pains. A uh, person said with their hamstring tear, they got immediate relief. It felt 70% better while wearing the brace, which mm -hmm. I would understand because it goes right here, and your hamstrings originate in your buttock region. Yep. And I could feel that pressure, and it did help having that overpressure. Compression, yep. yeah. Yeah. Uh, some people said it helped with their torn quad. It felt 60 to 80% better with the brace on. A person had pulled groin and immediately felt relief when they put it on. And also someone said they wore it while running, and it worked perfectly fine. It took the pressure off their painful areas. And someone said it gave their leg an increased stability feeling when it hurt, which I would totally agree with I think that. that's the key word for this thing, stability. Yeah, it it's adds. It's going to give you stability. If you have a leg injury and, like, it feels weak and, like, it's going to give out, this is going to give mm. you that stability in your in your hip region and quad area. Like, it's not going to help your knee if you have knee instability. Yeah. But I definitely think it works, I think, for the price. This is a good product. I would not say, you know, if you have sciatica, I would look somewhere else. Yeah. But I would say if you have any type of you know, groin or hamstring or quad strain or tear or rupture, yep. I would definitely try this out. Yep, muscle issues, yep. And you can stay active while wearing this. That's the best part. You don't have to totally forget all your act. You can still run. Yeah, just do you what you move. Yep. can functionally do. And, I, I, like, a lot of people wear them as they're progressively getting better. And once, you know, you feel better, you can not use mm -hmm. it anymore. So It's good to see a hip brace. There's a lot of knee braces out there that work. It's You don't see many hip braces. So. Yeah, and I'm glad it's like a good one because it actually goes around and stays where it's supposed to on like half of them. So yeah. Subscribe to us. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Hit the bell for notifications when we put up a new video and leave any comments. Boy, you're needy, aren't you? I am, just All a right. little bit. Thank you. Thanks. The Bob and Brad Crew The Bob and Brad Crew The Bob and Brad